Welcome to another massive video. Today we are talking about tool height calibration. So in the past videos we've covered how to calibrate your tools automatically using automatic tool height calibration feature built into the Maso. But today we're going to talk about calibrating the tool heights manually. So the first step is to home the machine. And as we mentioned in our last video about homing, it's very important to first home the machine and without having a proper homing setup, you can't calibrate your tool heights. So let's first home the machine by pressing Control Alt Home. Okay, so homing's done and we are ready to start calibrating. So first we need to load the tool, so we'll just bring it on the front here. Let's change the tool. First we are putting the smallest tool in and making sure that the tool goes all the way in till it stops. So the next step now is to take the tool to a predefined position on the bed and we will be using this same location to calibrate the heights of all the tools. So once we're on the position, we're going to put a piece of paper here to adjust the height and do the touch off to the bed. Now if you have a tool setter, you can use the tool setter here too. So we'll move down and once we're close enough, we're going to press the page down key to move to 0.1 millimeter resolution and now press the down key. Keep on moving the paper till it locks. Yep, so it locks here. Now we will go to the F4 screen and select the tool number. So we're gonna start off with tool number zero. I'm gonna select tool number zero, press enter to open it. Give it a name for your own reference. Press the tab key, come all the way to zero and press zero. And now Maso is automatically gonna offset the height of the tool and put the values in. Press tab to go to save, hit enter, and the calibration is done for this tool. So th that is the only process you need to calibrate your tools. And once you have calibrated your tools, Ma Maso automatically manages the height of your tools. So you always end up getting the same tool heights. Now let's calibrate another tool. So we will go to the F3 screen, move the axis up, Change the tool. So we're going to put the next tool in. Push it all the way in. And now we're going to do the same touch off again with this tool. This time let's use the MPG hand wheel. First we will move to Z axis because we want to move the Z axis down and move the hand wheel closer. So as we come closer, I'm going to decrease the resolution. And make sure. So we can going with that yeah as we come closer I'm going to decrease the resolution even further only very minute adjustments yep okay so yep that's it so it's all logged up now now we will go back to the F4 screen I'm going to select tool number one Go to the zero button, press enter, 
So it's got the Z values automatically. Press tab to go to save. Press enter again to save the values. So as you can see on the screen, the Z offset for tool zero and one, it's slightly different. And that is the difference between the heights of the tools. And you can repeat the same steps for calibrating all your tools. With Meso, you can calibrate up to 32 tools in the tools library. So those were the steps on calibrating the tool heights. And there is another easy way to automatically calibrate the height of the tools. And that is using a touch of plate. So if you have a touch of plate like this, so you can use this rather than a piece of paper or tool setter to set the heights of the tools. And in the next few steps, we will show you how to do that on the Meso. So we have positioned the touch of plate under the tool. And let's put this clip on. So we are all ready to go from the hardware side of things. So now we need to wire this input to input number seven. So that's our touch plate input going on input number seven. So now we're in the setup screen. We will go to the inputs and go down to input number seven. Select the probe input signal. Press enter to assign this input. So we are all ready to go from the hardware side of things. On the Meso, we will now need to make up a small probing cycle. So we will go to the F2 screen, press Ctrl N to create a new file. We will name this file, press enter to save. And now in this file, we will write the probing cycle G38.2. We'll put in the Z travel to be minus 50 because we are going towards the bed. So the value has to be negative. And we will put a slow feed rate of about 150. So the tool moves very slowly. Next, we're gonna put a M0 command. So this way, when the tool touches the plate, it will automatically stop and the program will come into feed hold. Next, we will write G0. G53 Z0. So this will move the Z axis up to the machine Z0. And finally, we will put in M30 to rewind the program to start once it's all finished. Press tab to go to the save button, press enter to save, to go to the exit, and press enter to save and exit. So let's run the program. Press Ctrl R to start. So the tool automatically stopped as soon as it touched the plate. Now we will go to the F4 screen, select the tool, press enter to open the window, press tab to go to zero, press enter to zero that value, come to save, press enter. So that tool is calibrated. Go back to the F2 screen and now if we press Ctrl S, the Z axis moves up. That's because we wrote the line G53 Z0. And you can repeat the same steps by running the same G code file to calibrate your other tools. So by using this touch plate setup, it becomes easier to touch off your tools and even more accurate. We hope you liked the video and please give us your feedback and comments. For more information, please click the links below in the description.